In this video, I'm going to use a few simple tools to have ChatGPT send emails on our behalf to potential brands to sell their products on Amazon. And I'm actually going to be giving out my complete cold email script template. If you just comment the word down below wholesale, I'll be sure to send that right over to you. Now, before we can actually get started with getting ChatGPT to send these emails for us so that I'm not having to go through, personalize an email to a brand and then send it out myself or have a virtual assistant do it one by one, I can have ChatGPT do this for me for just their $20 per month plan. Now, they do limit the amount of uses that you get with their agent option with the ChatGPT uh, plan. That's the regular one that most people use. I'm not paying $200 a month for this. This is a part of my $20 per month subscription. But we need to start with brands that we want to reach out to on a wholesale basis. So I actually have utilized Keepa. I have a lot of different systems for finding good brands on Amazon that I'd like to reach out to on a wholesale perspective. But here are the filters that I use whenever I went to Keepa, Data, and then the Product Finder. Now, you don't have to do this to get a list of brands, but that's what I ended up doing. In this particular case, if I show you my filters, I have things that are selling well right now. It's got a sales rank of under 250,000. The third party FBA is over $15 price point. Amazon's not on the listing. It's in pet supplies because that's just a niche I want to be used for this video. Additionally, it's over three offers on the listing. So it has a high likelihood that it's either arbitrage or a wholesale account with two FBA sellers currently on there. Then I did no variations actually for this particular purpose. That's not required. Um, and then here is a key point. I did image count of less than four because that means to me that the listings on Amazon probably aren't going to be optimized. And so there's opportunity to come in as a brand exclusive type of an arrangement with a brand. And so I did an image count up to four. You could do three, you could do five. There are a lot of images and videos that can be put onto an Amazon listing, but this is how I'm getting my list of brands that I want ChatGPT to contact for me. I did Amazon 100% of the time out of stock. And I also did bought in the past month over 50. So that way I knew that these products actually moved well. It's not just five or 10 units. It's going to be at least 50 times these products were purchased. Now, in this case, after you're done with that and you've set up your filters, you can go and click on find products. We had 723 different products that came back. Uh, you can see that there's a lot of different brands here. So Dervet or Derve, I'm not sure how to say this. This is a six pack of different opportunity or of different products in here. It looks like a, a multi-pack of sorts. Uh, this is a an ivermectin paste, which I you know, don't even know if I'm uh, you know something that I would want to sell on Amazon or not. But you can see the Keepa chart is fairly good here. Uh, additionally, if I were to click into this, Dr. Marty, for example, has um, a pretty good keep a chart as well. So this sells really well, has a fairly steady buy box. And so now because there are so many different sellers on these products, this gives us a high likelihood that we can find a place to purchase it. Now, if it's an arbitrage opportunity, that's great, but we're specifically looking for wholesale. So what I want to do now is make sure I've got brand in my Keepa export here. I'm going to switch this from 100 rows up to 5,000. Now there's only 721 that it's going to pull back anyway, but I want to get the entire list here from Keepa. Now I'm going to click into export and I'm going to export all active columns here. Now, what this is going to do is just give me a CSV file that then I can upload to ChatGPT. So now that we're inside of ChatGPT with that list from Keepa, I've gone ahead and crafted a prompt that we can utilize to have it start sending emails on my behalf. Now, I've already done some other work ahead of time that actually logged myself into the Gmail account for ChatGPT. If you haven't done that and you give it this prompt, it's actually going to come back and ask you to log into your Gmail. You're going to take control of the screen and then it can start sending emails on your behalf. Now, there is some some sensitive information that you're going to have to share there. Uh, and so if you aren't comfortable with that, don't do it. Uh, but for me, it's pretty cool to see. And you can use other Gmail accounts if you're concerned about certain private ones that you're personally using. So in this case, this is what I said. I want you to send out emails on my behalf for Amazon wholesale brands. Now look at the attached list of products, which was that Keepa export, just the brands itself, uh, and find the brand column. From there, research the brand so you can use that information in your email to personalize it uh, based on their products, uh, their products and brand. Find the contact information for each brand to email and send an email on my behalf using my Gmail account. When crafting your email and subject lines, use my uploaded cold email document and send to brand direct opportunities. Now this, now if you would like my cold email document, you can actually comment the word wholesale down below and I'll send you over that cold email document so you can get access to it for completely free. Now here's my business contact information for them to contact me after you're done sending all of the emails. I give it my business name, my phone number, the no website URL. Sometimes if you've got a wholesale website, you can put your website URL 
URL there. Uh, so that way they can be directed to it if they have any questions. Uh, here's the type because it has asked me for that before. E-commerce, retail, Amazon, FBA, Walmart, and Shopify. If it doesn't require this, then leave it blank. I told them that because we're not exactly trying to always be expressly uh, telling this to, to brands. But if they ask for it or if they require it, then we want to make sure to provide that and give it the address. And I also say the resale certificate will be provided after setup. Now, because it's got my document for writing cold emails and the keep export, hopefully it'll be able to start doing this for me. Now, naturally I've bl blurred out my uh, personal information here uh, because honestly, I just wanted to see how this would work and I'm using my actual real stuff. Um, but this is how uh, we can go ahead and move forward. So I'm gonna click, uh, before I actually click to enter this to, to get started, you need to make sure to have agent mode on, okay? Now to get agent mode on, uh, what you're going to need to do is click on this little plus sign and then click agent mode. Now you can see here, uh, potentially if it's uh, not blurry, uh, 31 left. So I can do this uh, over 30 times. I believe it's 40 times per month in my $20 per month ChatGPT subscription. You can pay for more uh, access if you'd like, but I'm just going to use the, the ones that are already included. So I'm going to click on go here essentially and let ChatGPT start doing the work. Now I uploaded over 700 different ASINs with a bunch of different brands. So this is going to take it a little while, but ultimately if if I leave this screen open, I've got two screens. You do need to make sure this is left open while it's doing the emails. Otherwise, it'll say, hey, this is personally identifiable information. Uh, I can't uh, continue unless you, the screen is open. That way it can start to read it. But ultimately, it's going to start doing this work uh, for me on the screen. And you can see that it's doing the agent side of things. So uh, it said it's going to read the brand column. So in there, there's Zoomed, Hikari, Dervet, uh, or Dervet, Dr. Marty, Fluff and Tuff, Higgins, Zilla, Kong, Cashel, Hannah Instruments, Nyla Bone, Seachum, uh, Golden Rewards. And it's talking about trying to now go craft that personalized email for each brand. And it's going to search, in this case, the contact for Zoomed. It's looking for Zoomed's contact page, Zoomed wholesale contact email. This is doing work that I don't have to do and other virtual assistants don't have to do for me. This is pretty crazy. Now, after it's done doing all of that work, it's going to then send out emails on my behalf. Now this does take a little bit, but I can leave it open on one screen and go do work on another screen while it's actually going through and doing the emails for me. And now I'm gonna actually switch over and show you an example of one of the emails that's already sent out for me on my behalf before I did this video, just to show you how this works and how powerful this is. So here's the screen for all of my sent emails. I already had it do some for me. And, you know, you could sit there and we could watch it for the next 30 minutes to an hour, or go through this process of researching the brands and sending the emails. But I'll just show you what it's already done a couple of times for me because it's pretty cool. So let's actually take a look at the Starmark brand, for example. I'm going to click into this one. Now, again, I've got some personal information blurred out here, uh, but it says here, hi, Starmark team. I'm James Smith from the, my business name. Your interactive training toys are a fantastic resource for pet owners. On Amazon, I see many third-party sellers and listings that don't fully showcase the product's features. We're not just another reseller. We help brands manage their presence on Amazon. We can consolidate authorized sellers and remove unauthorized sellers to maintain pricing, update product pages with additional images, videos, and training tips, monitor and respond to customer service questions and reviews. Uh, would you be able or would you be available for a short call to discuss how we can support the Tra Starmark brand? Please feel free to reach me at this email and this phone number. Thank you, James Smith, with my uh, business name down there again. Uh, but this is something that is extremely important and extremely helpful. Now you can tell that this is written basically from ChatGPT, but to a certain extent in this case, I don't care as much because I can set it up with ChatGPT to just do all of that work for me. And it's going to send out 100, 200, 300 emails on my behalf without me having to do a thing besides upload a list of brands, have it go research the brand, and then come back and do the emails on my behalf with their own information in here. Now I could give it more information. Let's say I wanted it to double check some of their listings on Amazon, or maybe I had a different report that I downloaded from Smart Scout or Helium 10 about information on the brand. And I wanted those uh, pieces of information to be in the email. Well, I could tailor that with ChatGPT. But the fact that ChatGPT is, uh, as you can see, it was paused because it's going to need information to my Gmail account. Um, so this is why you don't go away from it. But while I was doing it, it's going through and doing this work. So I would just simply leave this screen open. I've got another screen that I'm working on. Maybe you have an extra computer or something that you can have ChatGPT do the work for you. To me, this is extremely powerful. It's already sent out a few emails for me. It's going to continue to send those out. As you saw in my own email account, it was just a few of them. And they were all tailored to the brand. If I actually go and I open up a completely different one, uh, let's actually take a look at Farmland Traditions here. Again, very similar setup. 
Uh, I've got this stuff blurred out, but hi, Farmland Traditions team. I went to uh, their uh, info at hillsidefarms.com. James Smith with this. I'm impressed by your jerky treats and how they use simple ingredients. On Amazon, I saw that many listings have few images and limited bullet points about ingredients, and there are numerous sellers causing pricing shifts. Our company helps specialty pet treat brands stand out online. We can do these things, uh, which I kind of already mentioned in the last one. Could we schedule a quick call? You can reach me here. Now, it's interesting because it, it, it tailored. It's completely different, not completely, a little bit different than the past email, than the one I already showed you. But it did start to mention the specific products that they have in their account and how they use simple ingredients. This is tailored. This isn't just a blast of a bunch of the same email to uh, every single brand that you'd like to contact. No, this is a specific, tailored, and very helpful to be able to save you a bunch of time. Now, ultimately, the fact that I can upload hundreds of different brands have it do research on the brands, figure out what those products are, figure out what the contact information is, give it my contact information and have it log into Google for me and then ultimately send those emails on my behalf. That is just amazing. And so I'm excited for what the future of this could hold. It could also be very annoying for a lot of brands, I'm sure, uh, if they're getting a bunch more spam. I'm not somebody that thinks that this is going to get a ton of results. What I expect, though, is if I can get this set up to be able to send out hundreds of emails per day, uh, then if I just have a 1% conversion rate into having an, uh, a wholesale account or a potential brand exclusive, just one thing that comes from that in the entire year, that's going to pay for ChatGPT and all of the profits that come from any of this work. This is very simple to set up. If I send out, uh, I don't know, 100 or 50 emails per day, and I'm getting, uh, what is that, over 15,000 emails sent in the year, and I get, I don't know, 10 accounts from that, well, those 10 accounts are going to pay for my $20 per month ChatGPT subscription and everything else. Now, hopefully this was eye-opening for you. To me, this is very eye-opening. I'm excited uh, to have it continue to do this and just kind of see what those results are. If there's more results that come from it, I'm happy to continue to, to showcase more of this AI stuff on my YouTube channel and in other places. Now, as you can see, ChatGPT has started doing this again now that I've got the uh, screen back up and it's looking for uh, Hannah Instruments contact page, whatever that was. Maybe that was one of the brands that I have. And so sometimes there's going to be 404 errors that come up and that's fine. It's going to continue to work through that. Now it's navigating to a contact page. It's looking for different information. I just want to show you that whenever I got back to the screen, had told it to continue what it was doing, it's now picked back up on that particular task. So I'm excited to see what these results are. If you're somebody that's looking to grow and scale your Amazon or Walmart business or e-commerce business online, check out my Business Building Legends community. The link's down below in the description. Now, again, if you want my cold outreach email template for wholesale accounts, go ahead and comment the word wholesale down below and I'll send it right over. I hope this video helped you and blessed you and you have a great rest of your day and a blessed rest of your week.